channel. How are you guys doing? I'm good. <laughs> New mom of two. <laughs> yeah, I went MIA on you guys and I had a baby. So today I'll be giving you guys all the, the details. You guys are very, very curious to know. I know if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because the Instagram fam bam, this pregnancy has of course, I posted videos, I posted pictures on there and stuff, but I didn't get into the details. No gender, no name, nothing. <laughs> yeah, but that's because this pregnancy took me by surprise as well, okay? I had to deal with it the best way I could, which was semi-private. So yeah, I have a new baby. My husband and I, we are parents of two, under two babies right now. The struggle is real, okay? The struggle is real. Just before this video, I attempted to do uh, an 18 months update with Talia. Mega fail. So let's just forget about that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm here today to talk about my birth story. Talia's was very, very different. Somehow tra traumatizing, I can say. But this second one, um, after... I went to Tanzania and came back. I didn't know, but I was expecting. Hello. <laughs> so I literally found out I was pregnant like almost three months into the pregnancy. Don't ask me how. I was just living in my bubble, going to work, Talia keeping me busy. I didn't realize that I had missed my period, you know. Yeah, that's what happened. So once I found out, I went to the hospital. First doctor I saw freaked me out like, You've gotten pregnant you've gotten pregnant too early it's a risky pregnancy you're going to have a scheduled c-section i cried i cried i changed the doctor second doctor was nicer but wasn't giving me the information i needed because i really i the first doctor scared me already so when i changed i needed the, the, the second doctor to be upfront tell me every little bit of information so i could also relate that to my husband because of course i got pregnant in the pandemic i gave birth in the pandemic my husband was not allowed in the with during my doctor appointments and all of that so he was very worried that he didn't want to be kept in the dark he needed every bit of information i changed to a third doctor in my third trimester third doctor brilliant amazing i recommend her to anybody who lives in dubai and plans on having a baby in dubai she is the best i love her she confirmed yes I, it, it was a risky pregnancy because my previous c-section had not healed completely and then i've gotten pregnant and then the baby would get bigger and bigger and bigger and it was great it could affect my what it could, it could affect something but basically it could go, it could rupture something in me which could lead to me not being able to ever get pregnant again i was like what no i don't want that um so she was like yeah we would have to she confirmed that we would have to do a scheduled c-section but nothing to worry about she'll monitor me and everything we'll decide when we want to do it how we want to do it and all of that so she was more forthcoming with information which i appreciate like 100 percent and with this led us to us deciding that we're going to have a planned c-section at 38 uh 38 weeks so i had my second at um 38 weeks uh yeah she kept checking on my cervix she checked his weight to make sure because she was like we i was in pain guys this pregnancy was painful i was in so much pain the bigger the baby got the more pain i felt around my abdominal my lower ab uh, abdominal area i was in a lot of pain throughout the pregnancy especially in the third trimester so she was like if you can endure please do let's let's take out the baby at about 38 weeks I was like okay I'll try my best which I did very proud of myself okay <laughs> so yeah um, she kept checking my cervix to make sure it was fine she updated me on the baby's weight baby's height everything they she they kept doing all the checks I had iron deficiency during the pregnancy um, my hemoglobin was low as well but towards the end it went off so nothing to worry my blood group is all negative which is the scarce blood group so I had to take extra I had to take injections for that this this I had to take some injections and stuff for that and then um, the day I had to give birth um, I actually 
actually saw my doctor that day. I went for my last check for my last checkup. She checked me. She told me the baby is good. Baby is fine. Um, the baby's weight. She was like, oh, the radiologist confirmed the baby was at about 3.1 kg or so. She was like, brilliant. Everything is fine. The baby's heart beat. Everything is good. Um, so after seeing her, she told me my last meal of the day was supposed to be at 6 p.m. and then I was supposed to fast until the next day. I was supposed to uh, I was supposed to be in the hospital at 6 a.m. So I was up by 4 a.m. the next day. My husband and I, we left the house like past 5. And by 5.40, we were in the hospital. Um, they prepared the room. They checked me in and all of that. The nurses came in, prepped me. I had shaved. I had shaved uh, already, you know. I shaved down there already to make it easy. So they came in, they prepped me. They told me to undress naked, completely you know, you undress totally. If you have any metals on your body, I had some metals on my head, you know, like some decorative stuff. I've not even had the time to put it back. My husband took that out for me. Um, earrings, jewelry, anything. Contact lenses out. If you have any, they called it like, you know, if you have any artificial teeth, tooth or teeth, whatever, you need to take it out or so. Some, some of the nurses even came in and they were like, my nail polish, they need to take out the nail polish. My doctor really told me, if they say that, just tell them your doctor said it's fine. I was like, hello i took the time to go to my nails no but i just want to know my doctor said it's fine they were like okay if your doctor says it's fine me it's fine so that was it they prepped me what hurt me the most during the prepping was the cartridge cat 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 or something the thing they insert something into you so that you don't have to wake up to go pee you just literally on the bed and you pee and the urine goes through some pipes and into a bag which is thrown away and all of that that thing was no joke when they're inserting it it hurt it hurt a lot and just to mention as well um, if you're having a planned c-section or if, if you're going to give birth you it's compulsory for pregnant women you need to do um, a COVID test yeah you need to do a COVID test if you do that with the DHA that's the Dubai Dubai Health Authority it's free you don't pay pregnant women don't pay for it I just thought I should throw that in and I think you need to do the test like I did my test uh, 19 gave birth 21st so yeah i think it has to be like two three days prior to your delivery so yeah so my covid test was done yeah so yeah i was prepped already and uh my doctor came in uh she came in before eight the c said the, it was scheduled for 8 a.m but she came in before eight came said hi to me all of that um my husband and i we prayed i went we they took me to the theater room kept me out for a while i guess they were prepping the and uh, the anest the guy who was supposed to administer the anesthesia he was the coolest guy ever he came we were like chatting up with was chatting up with my husband and i you know trying to make me to be as relaxed as possible asked me if this was my first c-section i told him no i've had one before you know and then they took me into the theater room my husband was outside he couldn't come in unfortunately i really really wish they could have come in to be there to see to experience the birth of our baby but it wasn't possible yeah so they took me in the whole anesthesia procedure you sit upright like this they put a pillow in front of you so you sit upright you bend you put your hands on the pillow the, there were two people that held my shoulder so they could hold me down so i shouldn't move the guy administered the anesthesia on my spinal cord i think yeah Woo! The, during Talia's own, I didn't feel some shock, some electricity shock on my on my leg. But this time around, I felt like electricity shocked me. I screamed. He was like, did I just feel something like electricity? I was like, yeah. He was like, it's normal. It's fine. Done, 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 done. It didn't hurt the same. So it did hurt a little. I don't like needles. So anything with needles hurt, if you ask me. So he did that. And then, bam. After that, they told me to lie straight. And then... I could feel the way the doctor came in. She was doing her thing and all of that. After some time, I heard the baby cry. Tears were going down my eyes and all of that. Um, she also, my previous situation has scarred in an ugly way. She took care of that. My husband says the place looks flawless right now. Like Dr. Ruba, Dr. Ruba is the M. She's the real thing. Honestly, that's her name. Yeah. So later on, they took me back into the room. No, they showed me the baby. <laughs> they showed me my baby. Took the baby out. Showed my husband and all of that. He gave the baby's clothes. I, I didn't do skin to skin again. Hmm. But yeah. They, then later on, I went to my room. They brought, no, no. When I came out, 
they brought the baby to us already dressed and everything so we saw the baby then we went to the room together it felt so special it was just my husband myself and the baby that moment just the three of us Talia was home she was home with our helper yeah that moment my husband and I and the baby it felt so it felt surreal it felt like it hit us hard like babe we are parents of two right now we took the time we soaked in the moment and all of that and that was it later on Talia came in to meet the sibling it was a bliss she was adorable with him no tantrums no jealousy none of that so yeah that was my birth story if you were expecting something very very dramatic like Talia's no this time around it was a planned c-section and everything went as planned everything went well my recovery has been brilliant I feel good I'm taking my medication baby is doing well when I'm ready I'll share I'll share the baby I'll share him it's a boy <laughs> I'll share the baby with you guys so that's it thanks for watching if you've not subscribed please do click the subscribe button click the like button let's get to 5,000 subscribers and then we'll get to 10,000 subs when we get to 10,000 subs we'll do a giveaway okay take care guys stay safe this is COVID this is we're going through a pandemic right now See you in the next video.